Welcome everybody to, oops, I actually have the, <laughs> this spy doesn't just end. If you have not checked out my Reclaimer Amulet League, I strongly, strongly recommend you do so. Uh, but now it's time to for BBE Amulet. This is a donation league, uh, courtesy of Jose. Thank you so much, Jose. I really appreciate the support. And yep, blood braid is what's up. We're gonna be blood braiding into dryads, explorers, steering, scouts, and probably into summoners back in non zero amount of the time. So hopefully it works out. But yep, this is basically uh, the mana base is built to splash uh, red, obviously. So we have. Gruel Turfs, we have uh, one of Stomping Ground that we can fetch for with Misty Rainforest as well. <clears throat> and we actually have a couple of fetch lands. We have uh, one with Foothills and we have uh, Misty. There we go. Um, besides that, everything else in the main deck is pretty pretty stock. Quote unquote. Uh, with the Bochuki Pop Cavern and Ghost Quarter being in the side. Well, there's actually one cavern in the main deck, but there's a second cavern in the board. Uh, the sideboard has a Fry, which is actually pretty great um, right now, um, especially because it tackles most of the cards that we care about. It's not as good as something like Celestial Purge, unfortunately, because it doesn't take care of Blood Moon, but it takes care of stuff like uh, Spell Queller, Mantis Rider, although I guess Celestial Purge also kills Mantis Rider, uh, but it Fry kills Medley Mage, for example, which um, Celestial Purge is not, so that's nice. Thank goodness Wizards are pretty misty so I can afford this as I know, right? I mean, fetch lands are, are a card, they are basically, uh, what, is, what is it? It's an optimization. Fetch lands are only for optimizing, right? Oh, I, I forgot to do this, by the way. Whoops. Let there be light. Went to Disney like two months ago. And it impressed me how many people just didn't care and didn't wash their hands after doing their business. Yeah, that's that's kind of gross. Um, so this is actually a turn four Titan, but it is a turn four Titan with on the draw, by the way. Uh, but it is a turn four Titan with a Dryad, which means that it's probably going to be GGs. So. It's probably, probably worth keeping. <laughs> Left two cards on top after that, so that's not great, but. Oh no, Storm. Oh, that's right, this is Ugo Freitas. Yeah, he he's actually um, a really good Storm player, by the way. Remand this, you got it. was not like we have too many options there. <clears throat> Ugo, one of the OG storm players. Yeah, yeah, he, he's been grinding grinding storm for years. <laughs> so we're probably just dead if he's going for it. Cause he's not one to make a mistake like this. Piff. Alright. So I guess that it's not deterministic, but it's probably gonna be very good. And did they find... I guess they kept one on top, so that probably means that it's deterministic pieces of the puzzle. There's the gifts and given. All right, worth it. <clears throat> Literally has been on Storm since pre-2017, nice. Okay, so we want Pact, we want Bog, we want Cavern, obviously, we want to Breeds and Fry. And Rex Sage. We actually probably don't want Sage and we don't want and we do want Force. Not loving the BBs in this in this matchup. Field can go. Go squad is already out, so ooh. probably fountain and probably
Did miss it. Uh, real trip. Yeah, this is this is the donation list. This is not my list. For the record, I don't think BBE is particularly great. But uh, Jose uh, was saying that he actually has had some good results with it. So, and he donated for me to play it. So obviously, I'm gonna play it. Oh, you want to cut it this game? Uh, I mean, BBE into a braid or fry to kill my opponent's dude is not terrible. I'm probably not going to play the all three. I guess that BBE into Pact of Negation is horrendous in this matchup specifically. So I guess, yeah, I guess we're going to have to cut it this matchup. Yeah, especially BBE into Explosive sounds horrible all right how is nice because we have access to cavern <clears throat> yeah this is a solid hand so i think i'm gonna go with just basic forest turn one yeah, yeah. This hand has ways for us to not die, which is great, and it also has um, we we have a path to Titan, and we actually have Cavern. So even after we have, when we finally get to Titan, we're gonna be resolving it hundred percent. So we're gonna fetch for stomping ground here. Oh, nice. That's that's good. So we amulet, and now we can fetch for stomping ground, and we don't even take damage. Feels good, man. Beep, boo. And I think I'm going to a breathe here uh, because we can play this through a remand. <clears throat> Another Boral. We're gonna kill that one too. Okay, so we're gonna play T West here. Gonna do the same thing. Pass the turn. Storm run one is sad, yeah, it, it really is. Uh Buck I love, thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you for being here, but I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill that one too. <laughs> and it's nice because we can transmute and we can kill this one at the same time. So that's pretty hot. <clears throat> so, classic turn six Titan, no rush. We drew literally every piece of removal. <laughs> uh. It's just good. It's just good stuff, you know. That's good stuff. <laughs> they also had a triple, a triple dude draw when we had a, <laughs> when we had a triple removal draw. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's that's funny. The gods won the subs. That that has to be it. That has to be it. <laughs> hmm. Is force better? Is force better than Rex Asian? I think so. I think it is. I think it is. Taking out the BB, no respect. Yeah, I mean, in a matchup where we want, like, Pact of Negation, uh, honestly, BB doesn't sound too great, if you ask me. Uh, ugh. We'll probably have to ship this, right? He kept seven. Okay.
return one scout and this is what we can do So we're going to emulate on two, and I guess we're not going to make any land drops. Grape shot. Feels bad, man. All right. All right. <laughs> Good old surprise motherfucker with, with Sakura, yeah. Okay, so I guess that if he has remand, we're kind of fucked here. He probably does. He doesn't, okay. He might actually just have lethal on their turn. If we manage to get there though, if we somehow not die, which seems really, really unlikely, then they also kept on top. Yeah, we're probably just dead. If we somehow don't die. Oh no. Desperate, poetic. All right, so give me that land. Untap land drop. Hmm. Bounce land would be good. Okay, so if we draw into a bounce land, we actually have a shot here. So we're hoping to draw into Bounce Land here. Bounce Land. Uh, I guess that we can still draw Vesuva. All right, Vesuva. Vesuva. Nope. Feels bad, man. Okay, so. Womp womp. That is deterministic. So I guess that even if we had, even if we had found the Vesuva, we would have been able to do anything. This is just game. Now, I mean, I will, if, if I didn't know who uh, he was, I might do, I might make him do it, but like, Ugo is not gonna mess it up. It's, it's the same as Baco de Jaya, like, um, um, it, it just makes no sense. It's just a waste of time to make them do it because they're, they're not gonna make a mistake. Maybe they play empty grip. No, it's actually deterministic at that, at that point. They can, they can find whatever wing con they want. No fairness, it was turn five. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was. It wasn't like it wasn't crazy for us to die again. It's it's just a it's a bad matchup for us anyway, right? Oh, you know. But if we have recommendation sage in our deck, we want to name shaman because scout and rex sage are both shamans. Yes, I know that. Yeah. Uh, if we if we have a tracker, we want to name scout. Supper. Thank you for the follow. If you have Tracker, you want to name Scout because that's the the what they share. A human shares uh, Azusa and Tracker, and Rex Sage is a Shaman, and this is also a Shaman. Those are the also Giant Giant. So those are the those are the the, the, the names with Cavern that you want to be mindful of. Unkeepable hand is unkeepable. <laughs> But bad yet mildly keepable hand is bad yet mildly keepable. I know that I play games. I mean, maybe they only play one retro, which was exiled. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess it's not like a zero percenter. 
Uh, okay, so I was going to just like make my land drops and stuff, but this of course changes what I'm gonna do for obvious reasons. So we're gonna explore here, Pog Champ. So now we kill next turn. Sounds good to me. So unless we're playing against, uh, we, I guess we could be playing against the mono red prison deck. So if they have Simeon Spirit Guide into Blood Moon, we just lose. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so they, they do have that. So our pillage is dead. Pillage my amulet. Okay. That one I can beat. I can probably not beat a second one. <laughs> My opponent is all about those two for ones. Chandra, okay, so they're probably gonna minus. Makes sense. Ugh. I think I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. At this point, we're a little bit too far behind in terms of land drops, so I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. So if we don't find the bounce land here, we're not gonna have enough to... But like the chances of finding a bounce land are high enough. And if my Dryad gets answered yet again, then... We're actually super far behind, so. What is today even? I don't know. So we get back for Azusa and Titan here. Which seems like the line. No, we don't have a Susa in our deck. Oh, shit. Oh, Jose, I'm gonna kill you, man. <laughs> Why do you not have a Susa in your deck? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that really sucks. <laughs> um. Oh, man. Oh, it feels so bad. <laughs> yeah, I even said it, and then I just forgot to make the change. Okay, so I'm definitely, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Um, we probably have to, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess it's better. Like blood braiding into blood braiding into <clears throat> we just cannot catch a break here oh shit uh so they're probably gonna try to ld me here Come on, even a BBE would be great. <laughs> Actually, the BBE would have been an amazing draw there. They're gonna pillage, they're gonna probably pillage the amulet here. This means that we get to kill the Chandra, so my opponent has nothing going on, at least. But we have, like, less than nothing going on, so that sucks. Just gonna replay the cards that my opponent knows about. Uh, 
Uh, we could have packed it for VB even though we died with Iron Upkeep, so not not looking like the great the best line. Oh you got there, real leg, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, I mean, I guess depending on what we find here off the top, we might have to pack for BB just to put pressure. And we just have to accept our fate that we die to any land destruction spell. Okay. So that probably means they don't have much. So I think I'm going to pack for BB here. Uh-oh, we're dropping some frames there. And are we back? There we go. Yeah, I think we're just going to pack for BB. Do I already know? <laughs> God damn it, Royal your leg. Oh, you got me, you got me. All right, uh, Dryad would be great. Yes, yes, woohoo. Oh, baby. You see that chat? You see that chat? Woo. That was pretty hot, that was pretty hot. We died to like any form of, of land, disrupt, land destruction, which my opponent seems to have a non-zero amount. And we also died to Blood Moon and all that nonsense. But like, I don't think that we win a game where we don't do anything there. That was nice. That was nice. My opponent definitely did not see that one coming. They are completely perplex right now. They're trying to figure out what hit them. John Mulet. This is basically John Mulet. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Sweet, sweet. And I think we get in there, right? So we get them down to 14. In there. And next turn we actually have lethal. Prime time doesn't even need to attack. We just get Valak at plus bounce. Get one, two, that's six damage. Then we play uh, Valak is Vesuva, I guess, and then we copy the Rural Turf, and then we just ping them to death. My opponent with the mono mono land destruction deck against my mold to four, I think it was. And we're still going to get him. All right, so that makes things a little bit harder, but we're still fine. We're still fine. It's prime time, baby. Yeah, we're, we're very much fine. Uh, so it's going to be Field of the Dead plus... Um... Let's do Boros. Uh, let's do Telaria West. <clears throat> so we're going to trade here for the Bone Crusher Giant. So next turn we're attacking. They let the Chandra go? What the hell does that even mean? When am I going to do the deck tech? Um, I'm going to do it after this match. Really? Mm. 
Like whatever my opponent's trying to do here, it's not going to matter. <laughs> They're gonna double bolt my Titan. <sighs> nice try. Nice try. This is what you take for playing mismatching lands, opponents. This is what you get for playing mismatching lands. Uh, I guess that we can actually present lethal here. Kill your dude for good measure. Collected company to basically to the card from the top seven. And if you want to side it, have a cyber only for a card, you could also splice it for a glittering wish. <laughs> Jeez, you're going deep over there. All right, so we want Beast Within, we probably want Rex Sage, we definitely want Trackers and Force. And uh, Explosives, not really. Packed sound pretty awful. Yo! Bond, thank you so much for the $15 donation, really appreciate it. Oh wow. Are you gonna make me play standard? Are you gonna make me play standard, punt? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I might need to, to borrow some cards, but it shouldn't be too hard to do. Yup. <laughs> you just do this to troll me, right? And I totally respect it. <laughs> Oh yeah, we only need one forest to cast blood raid, it's great. Uh, okay, so we want to cyber out some cards. So yeah, so we're, we're actually, I should actually get to put together like a donation queue somewhere. So we have Punt with Bodos and Knights, whoops. Copy and paste here. Then we have, well, we're doing this right now. We have Darset with, with blue green. Um, so Slavio may be playing BB Enter to his tough flow, but love them. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Um, mono red. We definitely want explorers. We definitely want dryads. Definitely want break sage. Definitely want these. Oh man, too many good cards. Oh, uh, shave that. I think I'm just gonna shave scouts actually. My opponent has like the giant and they also have lightning bolt, so like it's it's cute that we might be able to do the thing, but like it's not gonna happen. Uh keep just cut BB in every matchup, even in the one where it's actually good. Where do you recommend getting motor cards from? Um, I usually use goat bots. That is my go-to. But you can use and any of those websites is actually nice. A braid. Sure, sure. The classic two for one myself to destroy your, your thing. Mm. Alright, so my opponent exiled the Simian Spirit Guide 
because they're missing a land drop just to upgrade my amulet. What does that mean? Does that mean that I want to spend this turn playing Simic Growth Chamber? Or that I, I think I just want to play around them having them having land into Ritual. Nice. All right. So now we should be good. So we're going to do Dryad into Simic. And I guess I want to bounce the Radiant Fountain here, because if my opponent plays a Blood Moon, we can track her plus double land drop, so we basically just win. Oh, baby. Um, I think tracker plus land drops is better, right? BB is super tempting. This gal delivers the beats. I think that tracker is just better, though. And we can BB next turn. They kill my amulet, so obviously they shut down my deck exactly, so I'm totally just going to lose to that. Yep. That's what I thought. You gotta love it when the, the anti-amulet deck just cannot even beat their buy matchup. You just gotta love it. Round three in the in the Monday the Monday event is super cute. Like my opponent was playing like actual Ponza and they they literally Armageddon and then they just lost to they just died to my Karn. It was it was just delightful. They had double blood money play. It was just gorgeous. You love to see it. Uh, I'm feeling this hand. I'm feeling this hand. This is an honorary two and zero exactly. So if our four one from here, it's basically like a five and zero, right, Jose? So. I mean, this is the name of your deck, it's very misleading. The enemy is actually fuck you, my deck is so gas, hashtag no bad matchups. Exactly. Actually, I have not used the no bad matchups emote in a while. That was that was a great time to showcase it. Great moment to showcase the no bad matchups emote. Always good value. All right, this hand not great against Tron. Hmm. We don't have Ghost Quarter in the deck, so that sucks. So whatever my opponent does here, they're gonna be able to do unimpeded. Blast zone? Okay, so they already have the Nutitron. Must be nice to be that lucky, right? Uh, that, is, that is unlucky. Seven minutes to get the Nobad Matchups emote. The Nobad Matchups emote is pretty good value, I'm not gonna lie. Classic Natitron. What about Neobrand? Oh, sorry. There we go. That basically summarized my thoughts about Neobrand. So if we find the prime time here, or unless they exile my amulet or a T West, we should be good to go. 
What are the best decks in Modern right now? Band Control, the Ursa deck. Uh, that's the, the blue green Ursa deck. Uh, Eldra Citron, Mono Red Prowess, and the red green, the red green uh, new monsters deck. <laughs> Neo Brand the Infect then gives turn. Yeah, no. <laughs> That sucks. That sucks a lot. That sucks a lot, lot, lot. I know about my opponent's Blast Zone, so I'm obviously not going to play out this amulet. And I'm going to exile the Simidroth Chamber to the Karn. Actually, I can't. Oh shit, this sucks. I have to exile the Vesuva. We still have two Valakids, so if we find a Titan, we are probably in fine shape anyway. Storm is terrible and is interrupted unless you're a good Storm Pilot. Yeah, I agree that the deck is quite hard to play. I don't think it's bad. It is pretty skill intensive. What makes the new red green deck so good? Did something change about the format? I feel like I've seen it frequently recently. Yeah, I think that people, I mean, honestly what happened is people finally figure out a way to build a good red green deck. <laughs> That's basically what happened in my opinion. It's just that people didn't know how to build that deck before and now they do. All right, so we have exactly this turn to draw exactly Primeval Titan. And if we do, we might even win this match. Okay, so we can pack it in now. Yeah, Clothis is really, really good. Okay, so Pact of Negation, Beast Within. Ghost Squatter. And they're playing Karn Great Creator, so I guess I want Rex Sage and maybe force no not really Let's just do that so we can cut cover and we can cut radium fountain we can show you a couple of explorers i think the best combo in the format is Uro and cars that cars Uro. that's a pretty good combo Deck was pretty mad before Clothis. Yeah, Clothis definitely uh, made it good. Clothis is really, really just e extremely tough to beat. It's basically a worm coil engine in how hard to race it is. It's ridiculous. It's a very good draw, by the way. It's overrated. Oh, Uro? No, I think Uro is correctly rated. Is one of the best things to be doing in the format. If you're building your deck around it. We show back would return to save us from a garbage meta. Damn. Hot takes in chat right now. Hot takes in chat. Or is so much value still? Yeah, it's, it is a lot of value. So, I was... Should I trade one for one here? I definitely should, right? I definitely should. It, it also fixes my opponent's mana for... It also fixes my opponent's mana to uh, nature slay my amulet, so I 100% I, I should, yeah, 100%. No, Uro will never be man worthy. Uro is fine. Like, it, it's just a fine power level card. It's just a really good card, but with, a, with an okay power level. All right, so this game is now officially over. Let's send Manjite with Mystic. 
Oh, okay, so my opponent is super, super mega dead. Being mega dead is like listening to mega death, but like, you know, just being dead too. Opponent concedes. Cool. Like to see a Mystic Sanction Air Connect Soleil ban. It would be interesting. It would be interesting. The problem is that those those cards are so powerful in such an innocuous way. It's the same thing with the fairy, right? Like the fairy is absurd in a in a way that is just not absurd enough to warrant a ban, which is like the worst the worst possible power level, right? Because it's like super annoying, super frustrating to play against. It makes it makes uh it makes uh, everything like it just makes the game way less fun. But at the same time, it's not powerful enough, like Oko, which, you know, you, you Oko just needed to go, you know. But like, we're basically going to be stuck with th three fairy forever. Can this hand beat a Tron hand? A Tron 7. It probably can. Uh, I, think, I think I'm going to keep this, actually. And I'm going to send the Explorer back. Because Steerings might be able to find Amulet, and if we find Amulet, this hand actually ex is explosives. It it's, it's super explosive, I mean. All right, punished. All right, we're fine. <laughs> hmm. Redundant Summon Respect, not... What I would like to see though, especially when my opponent has turn 3 Tron. If they have Karn, unless we find it, I guess we can find exactly Ghost Quarter. What can we do here? Who was the person that submitted AF of the band Lattice and therefore trust you more than anything else? Yeah. I think the Lattice band honestly makes no sense to me. So if I emulate here, we don't have an Asusa. But is there any way? I think I actually have to play my amulet here. And then I'm gonna play semi growth chamber. Just bounce this. If they have if they have Karn, we're gonna lose, but there's nothing we can do. You gotta keep advanced from the top deck. Yeah, yeah, but I need I need the amulet to be in play. Because if I upon if I play Valakid and, and do nothing else, my opponent minuses in my land, and then I can't even play Dryad next turn. So by doing this, if my opponent minuses here. Well, they have the card. Okay, the, the game is over, we can't win. I guess that they might plus for whatever reason. They don't plus. Okay, so we are just dead now. Okay, yeah, that's it. All right, we just got Tron. Feels bad. Classic turn three Tron. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's what the deck does, right? <laughs> if it couldn't do that, then... It's, it's already kind of barely playable, and if it couldn't do that... Also, if our deck was built properly... And, and we had access to the S we had had access to the S we would have won the the first game so there was definitely a mistake in deck building there from us oh no that that was against the the mono red deck never mind I didn't say anything uh, okay 
So turn three dryad, do a bunch of stuff. Make a bunch of land drops, and if we draw a Titan, we win. But we can also have some good top decks as well. Tron again, really? What is with so many people playing Moto Green Tron? Is this deck good now or something? <laughs> All right. Pretty sure we're second survive after they ban. Uh, probably. Maybe. I think I'm gonna try it here. Next turn we can blood braid. Just Natty Tron. Sure, sure. Worm coil. Well that's the one that we don't care about, so that's good. Alright. Amulet. That's not amazing. <laughs> uh, it was going to happen. It was going to happen, chat. It was going to happen, chat. They don't have Karn because they would have played it last turn. We can Titan next turn. We can't Titan just yet. Unless we draw exactly Azusa. Do they just have the perfects? They do just have the perfects. Okay. We're gonna be stuck paying for Pact and we can actually not beat that, so. Ghost Squatter, Beast Within. And we don't know. We don't know whether they are on Karn on Baby Karn or not. So we're gonna do this. How do I block Worm Coil? What do you mean? I don't. I don't need to block Worm Coil. <clears throat> BBA really wasn't at fault in those two rounds. I mean, you have to think that I would have had a car in the Great Creator, right? In that in that spot, in the spot that I had the BBE. So, like that is that is basically what you're looking at. You're looking at the opportunity cost. So we're going to upkeep beast within. Also, for sure, like not having a suicide in the deck is a mistake. That is 100% just a fact. So if we find a bounce land, okay, that's that's actually kind of unfortunate. Ha <laughs> ha. 
think they had it again. <laughs> oh, must be nice. Bounce land. It's not a fucking bounce land. Jeez, man. Um... Do you have another tower opponent? <sighs> Magus with the raid. Thank you so much, Magus. Welcome, everybody, for Magus' stream. We're getting completely dunked on by our Laxac and bad Tron opponents. Like, my opponent is giving me a shot here. They minus and the absolute worst one. Bounce land. Let me punish them. Let me punish them. Please, please let me punish them. Let me ring. Come on back, please. Okay, so now we're actually dead, I think. Like, my opponent made the worst possible decision. If they minus on the castle, they get me. If they minus on the amulet, they get me. And they minus on an, ir an irrelevant land. So they, they made... <laughs> they actually gave me a shot to win, but it was just... It was just not to be, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Turn three, we destroyed my opponent's land, and they had exactly the same Tron land without searching for anything. Because, you know, that's just... That's just the Tron way, you know? That is just the Tron way. Okay, so... I don't want to play that. And I have to force them to crack the Oblivion Stone. Like, this this game is close, but it shouldn't be. Like, we should be super, super, super mega dead. But we are somehow given a shot. So, unfortunately, I'm, I am forced to go for haste here. Because um, if I don't threaten to kill the Karn, then my opponent can spend this turn to simply just put a counter on the Karn and not blow up the O-Stone. So by doing this, I'm forcing them to blow, blow up the O-Stone right now, which is what they're going to do. <laughs> We're trying to shoot. Sucks a lot. It really sucks a lot. Um, going to protect this stronghold there. I'm just going to pass the turn. The thing is that, I mean, that's the beauty of Tron, though. Like, the fact that you don't need to play well because your cards are, like, so absurd that it just doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I don't think we have a chance. Like, I think that my opponent's hand is just better than this. Thruktusk. Why the hell is Thruktusk in my opponent's deck? This should be the first card they boarded out. Wow, I can't believe we are, we're actually going to have a shot here. This is this is honestly kind of ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five. This is almost annoying, honestly. Field of the Dead. Um, I guess I'd rather get Ghost Quarter. Valakut this enables me to haste, and then on the attack trigger. No, I guess I want. I don't want the Valakut, I want a bounce land instead. So we're gonna do Gruel Turf and Ghost Quarter. Because I'm my plan is to my plan is to Vesuva the Ghost Quarter so I can make sure that my opponent doesn't have Tron next turn. So we're gonna Vesuva and Tolaria West. 
Yeah, I guess the Larry West allows me to play around. So Larry West allows me to play around this member. So now my opponent can have this member. I guess they don't. Why the hell did they trade if they did not have this member? Destroy that one. Destroy that one too. We should not be in this game. It's almost annoying that we are in this game. And I have, again, I destroy the land that my opponent has in their hand. <laughs> that's, that's pretty ridiculous. That is pretty ridiculous. That's a good draw though. That's a great draw. Um... Little bit, little bit of justice in the world, at least. Attack. Yes. Double Valakut. I guess I should have played around the nature's claim here. This, this is actually a mistake on my part. This is definitely a mistake on my part. Like we might get caught by nature. I guess that they would have they would have claimed the amulet already, so they don't have nature slain. <laughs> I can't believe we won this game. That's so ridiculous. It's almost upsetting that we won this game. It's just justice. This is just justice. <laughs> Throck Tusk. Magic gods are giving opponents everything and they're still blowing it? Kind of, yeah. They kept seven. People down their forces because they knew the format was coming, the pride tanks, then they buy back in a couple of days into the draft. So I was subscribed to the No Justice stream, yeah. Apparently, this is a new stream now. This is uh, only a little bit of Justice stream. <laughs> Amulet. Five does not equal six, I guess. Tron math messed them up. Turn through Tron again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we draw some blanks. We draw some more blanks. All the blanks are being drawn. Is my opponent gonna throw this game away as well? Let's see. If they are turn three Karn, <laughs> they never did not have turn three Karn. <laughs> and they still mess it up. You have to be kidding me. Opponent, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? They're just trying to tilt me, right? They're just trying to tilt me. <laughs> They're just trying to tilt me. <laughs> yes. Oh, 
it's probably not gonna matter because they're gonna have a second one, but like <laughs> Shit man uh, It's probably not gonna matter <sighs> Nothing matters here though, right? Nothing matters here. So I can pack for Titan, but if my opponent is able to mog me, we just die and there's nothing we can do about it. So, so I have to play as if my opponent doesn't have a Tron land in hand. Because I cannot beat them having a Tron land in hand. That being the case, I th do I want to dry it here? Because if I dry it, then next turn I can set up a Valakut kill. Can I? I don't have a Sua anymore, but I can. I can get double Valakut of the prime time. Or Valakut Ghost Squatter. I guess Bounce. Yeah, Valakut Ghost Squatter is good because I have the, the Bounce Line in hand. So I guess actually the correct line is to play the Dryad here. Make my land drop, it doesn't matter, not do anything, you just pass the turn. And just hope that they don't have the, the Tron land. So if they don't have another Tron land, then we have a shot here. And if they do, they're dead. And if they do, we are dead, I mean. I feel like we're getting slow rolled here though. As I, as I was expecting, we were getting slow rolled. All right. Unfortunately, this they can't actually mess up. Like, like if they if they exile two cards at random, unless they choose their own, if they if any two cards that they exile at random, they just cannot mess up. So. There is no justice. I can't believe how they messed up every turn that could be that could be messed up. They did, and they gave me a shot for no reason. And then we we still were not able to punish them. Feels bad, man. Yeah, yeah. So they, they there was they could not mess up with the other mob triggers. <laughs> Gonti Lord of stuff. That's a funny. That's a funny name. Uh, not a keepable hand, unfortunately. Yes, a keepable hand. Not a great one, but definitely keepable. I think I'm going to bottom the breeding pool. <laughs> of course, of course. Um... I'm just gonna play the castle and just pass the turn. Now we can, if they go for to destroy one of my lands, we can save it with the civic growth. So we basically need to find the titan here. But if they if they have magus, so we can't beat that. I don't think. All right, something we can cast. Also something we can cast. <laughs> CV in this deck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a donation, it's a donation list. Chandra. Red, red? Oh, Stomp. Uh, that's pretty brutal there.
I don't think we can win anymore. <clears throat> See my recently rediscovered favorite magic card in play. Yep. Yep, yep. Magus is doing work. All right. This has not been a good league, huh? <laughs> uh, this one... This one has been... You know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no, no. Submit one too many. No, no. Whoops. <laughs> 61 card special. Let's do it. Move to four. Okay. Okay. So we bottom this guy and we bottom this and we bottom this. So if we draw Bounce Land into Titan, we actually have a shot. Poor Jose Savage. Nah, it's fine. We've been really unlucky this league. We've been super, super unlucky this league. I'm not gonna lie. Wrong order. Wrong order, we needed them in the opposite order. First the Bounce Land, then the Titan. There's the Magus. There's the F6. Land? Not land. I just don't think we have the time, unfortunately. Oh, that's right, we have a deck tech. Yeah, we're gonna take care of that um, right after we lose here. They have the bolt too. Sure, sure. Of course. Of course. So any permanent enables Gonti and Glorybringer is the best one they can have. All right. All right, so that was not the best league I've played in a long time, but uh, it was actually the worst league I've played in a long time. Uh, yeah, I just don't, I don't, I don't know how sad. I don't know what what BB is doing for us. I just don't get it. Like every every card you know in our deck usually has a purpose, and I don't buy the purpose of BB. Like we, it only looked good when we blood braided into a triad. And it's still questionable whether that was better to just like, you know, play a card and for <laughs> just and just you know like do that that thing instead. Uh, blood raid into steerings is definitely awful. Blood raid into scout is just bad. And blood raid into summoner stack was also terrible because he basically the time that it happened, it just time walked us. Um, we we died anyway. Um, if you want to keep exploring this, then. Sure, of course, you know, you, you, you're free to do whatever whatever you want. And if it's working out for you, then you should definitely continue doing it. But like, I, it it seems really hard to justify playing Blood Raid in Amulet. Like, I don't buy, I just don't buy the justifications. But yeah, I mean, it was, 
I don't want to say it was fun because it kind of wasn't. There was a lot of losing, but <laughs> um, but I mean, it was it was okay. I guess it was okay. Uh, I do think that uh, the approach that you're taking towards like basically counting this as more basically making things more likely for us to have a dried in play. Um, so I do like that, and I do like the fact that you're playing like a second Valakut, and you're kind of trying to, you know, do the Dryad thing a little bit more. So that is definitely something that I that I respect and I and that I like. So I like the way that you built the deck. Uh, I, I definitely like the way that you built the deck. Um, I just don't think that there's a good argument to build a deck like this. That is that is that is my my take on it. Um, so, so yeah, um, in terms of like the list and like ways to improve on it, like step number one, Asus, I think it's, it's going to be a must. I don't know whether you want to play it over Explore or whether you want to play it over Steerings. It might be better to play it over Steerings instead of Explore. But I could also see it being the other way around. So we have three Explorer 1 Azusa. But like the first copy of Azusa is just so good. It's just so good. So. So yeah. Hope you like me to see me losing a bunch if you're watching on YouTube. <laughs> I, I don't remember the last time I lost to Tron twice in a row. Like that was really unlucky. Like, I have been slaughtering Tron, just absolutely demolishing Tron lately. So, yeah, that, that, that was definitely some some bad variance there. But, but yeah, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to be back with some of the spicy lists. So, yeah, don't forget to check that one out. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video.